What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Old Folks TV. Uh, yesterday, well, it would have been last week for you guys, <laughs> we pulled this motor out of the bus and we started taking it apart. We were having some issues with it. Um, it was all around just kind of gross and it wasn't cooling properly. Um, so now we're going to get into it. Uh, we've got it all stripped down to just the long block and uh, we're going to get into it, get it cleaned up first, and then we're going to start to address some of the issues that we had with it. Uh, I'm going to retorque the heads, and we're going to adjust the valves, um, change over to the doghouse cooling. As you've seen, we've had some uh, some of the other tins that we started collecting. Uh, we've got everything we need on this table. We're going to throw that new exhaust on here. Uh, we've got a nice oil sump to get a little better oil capacity. Uh, tons of good stuff, tons of good stuff. So today we're going to get this thing cleaned up, tighten down, and then uh, possibly start getting some of that new jewelry on there. So let's, uh, let's get started. First thing you always want to do, you know you're going to be cleaning this motor or doing a dirty job like we did the brakes the other couple weeks ago. Um, I put a pan down and I put some of this super clean absorbent underneath it. Um, you can use any kind of kitty litter or whatever. This stuff just works really, really well because it doesn't get sticky clumpy. Like it kind of... It absorbs a lot, but it doesn't make a mess when you try to sweep it. So this is really good. I put it down in the pan because I know I'm going to be hosing the front of this motor down and, uh, you know, digging in there and getting all the crap out. And then all we do is we just gather that together and, and throw it in the trash can. Super nice. So get you some of that. And uh, I'm going to be using a little mixture of some hot water and some simple green to kind of break down that. And I'll probably end up having to spray some degreaser on there on the front where it's super gross. I guess that's the back. I don't know. I always call that the front. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's get dirty. clean motor I went ahead and hit it with uh, some engine block paint uh, because we scrubbed it and it's already been scrubbed once and painted um, so the protective kind of oily coating is gone and if you don't put something on there uh, a lot of times they'll get brittle and crumbly and uh, we don't want that we want this motor to last a long time so it kind of protects the case a little bit uh, plus, it makes it look really, really cool. <laughs> Gloss black is awesome. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and drain the oil. And uh, once we get all the oil out, we'll be able to flip this thing over and, and start doing some stuff to the back and the bottom. Uh, so I'm going to swap out my... Look how good that worked. Caught all the liquid. Nothing, uh, nothing leaked out. So we'll sweep that onto a trash can. We'll swap that out for a oil catch can. And uh, we'll get this thing emptied out and flipped over and do the bottom. All right, so we got that motor all sort of kind of cleaned up. It's not as goopy and, and crusty as it was. Uh, Chris came over. Hi. It's Chris. He knows how to do these sumps, and it's been literally forever since I've done a sump, like forever. So I have all the parts, which I got from him. 
and now he's here. So he's going to go ahead and put that sump on for us. He's going to tell us about it, and uh, we'll show you how to quickly just glue one on or whatever we do. I don't know. So go ahead, Chris. All right. Well, we're doing a deep sump, so we got to extend our uh, pickup tube. So I'm going to start off with that. Close up action. Pretend like you don't see this camera. What camera? I don't yeah, see a camera. This one. So the pickup tube in there, you just have to slide this over, make sure it's all the way seated to the bottom. And then make sure that that, uh, that hose clamp is solid so that this thing is solid. This is like a, a quart, maybe. Maybe just a tiny bit over a quart. Uh, when they're all done, they look like this. Sort of like that. It's in there pretty good. It's got six of the six nuts holding it down. Plus, it's glued and Loctited in there. I feel like it's it's pretty good. And the little pickup tube is nice in there, so I'm gonna glue us up a gasket for the screen. Don't glue the screen to the gasket. <laughs> right? Uh -huh. There we go. See, I was right. Uh, but we're gonna glue the gasket to here so we don't get a leak. We get a good seal. And then the screen, this is the screen that came with this motor, but it's in pretty good shape. Um, you just want to make sure there's no holes in the screen. And, you know, it's got this little plunger. That's what the pickup tube sits in. And it's a tight fit, so it picks up the clean oil from here. So get one that's not bent. Also, if you're reusing an old one, make sure there's no trash on the inside of the screen. Yeah, get it all super clean now with some super clean <laughs> and then uh, you, know, you just kind of put it right on there like that it's... yeah definitely exactly like that <laughs> I'm just playing around remember how I said I didn't have finger strength uh -huh. I lied. yeah I can see that <laughs> Super finger strength. All right, so then we need the other paper gasket out of that bag. This is uh, part number that. I don't know whose part number that is. Just on the bag. It's not torn. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Are you going to glue that to the cover? You tell me what you want me to do. No, you do it how you do it. Cause... So, it, I would have glued that gasket even to the screen because you got the drain plug and I ain't ever worried about it coming back off. What, the screen? Mm -hmm. You got to take that out at some point to clean it. Yeah. Once every like engine rebuild. Oh, I do them like every other oil change. I take it out and hose it off. Well, you're going to have to have that fancy oil filter on there. Shit, nobody knows about that yet. Okay. Well, in this case, then no, we won't, we won't glue it. Okay. It's not going to leak. It's going to be good. Everything's going to be, everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine.
don't over tighten those because you will dimple the plate and you will have oil everywhere. Uh, so snug. Snug is good. They don't have to be super duper tight. And don't lock tight those on because you want to be able to get those off later. Just enough to crush that washer. Good. Done. Perfect. All right, now what are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna flip this motor over and we're gonna talk about it. Let's do that. All right, there you have it. Engine's clean-ish, clean enough. Uh, we got the oil out, so we'll get that new oil put in there. We got that new high-capacity sump uh, that's gonna help us out a ton. When you have more oil, uh, you can spread the heat out a little bit better, so that's gonna help us cool it. Plus, it has a little cooling fins underneath, so that's gonna help cool the oil a little bit, too. Um, speaking of oil cooling, the next thing we're gonna do, uh, we'll take care of this product for next week, though. Uh, we're gonna put the doghouse cooler and all the tins. This is when the motor is going to get really pretty uh, because we're going to we're going to start putting all the fancy painted stuff on there. The really nice stuff. Um, we also have to put in the super cool tins uh, which go underneath. So we're going to have to pull the heads off and pop these in there and then retort the heads. I had to do that anyways and then we'll do the valve job. Uh, we'll get all this in there. All this just in the name of cooling off this motor and getting this thing running so that we can take it to New Mexico in 115 degree heat and I'm not going to be at 230 degrees, you know, oil temp. Uh, that was a bummer. We absolutely don't want to do that again. This should help a ton. We also got Andrew's new fan. Um, I got a temporary fix for that that we're going to put in there. We're waiting on the hubs to come in, but that's like a month away still. I think he's still trying to get it built. So. When we get that, then we'll have to take the fan out, which is not too bad. Uh, we don't have to pull the whole motor to do that. No. Um, so, lots of things still to do. Uh, but for today, I think we're gonna be done. It's, it's getting kind of late and we're kind of tired. So, we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, go down to the link below, get you a t-shirt or a hoodie. This cold weather is here. Those hoodies are super duper warm. Uh, so get one of those. Check us out at oldvolkstv.com, right there. Uh, check out all our friends. We got all the links for everybody over there. Good old Mike and, and Vic Whitehouse and VW Radio and all those guys. Uh, links to all their stuff over there. And down below if you're lazy, you just want to scroll down, it's all right down there at the bottom. Subscribe, share it, like it, comment, uh, tell us what you think. And uh, thanks for watching.